Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool rotary wall telephone. This is Holly's equipment from Minnesota and it's better known as a 554 and this is the initial checkout. This telephone is from Holly's family so it means a lot to her. She wants to start using it and so it's basically been handed down. And we have a jack here. I want to show you some things. We're going to be checking out the telephone. This telephone accepts a wall plate jack that is in this configuration. So basically the port sticks out from the jack and that's so the telephone can plug into it and then slide down on our two rivets here. Now she has a wall jack at home but it's the modern style wall jack where this part of the port is inverted. So basically what happens is you would use a little with a modern day telephone you would use a little stubby modular cord that's a couple of inches long and one end would be plugged into the telephone and the other end would be plugged into the jack and so basically what would happen is they curl up what's left of the line cord and usually they're very short to begin with and then you can hang the phone on the jack so we're going to be doing a conversion on this telephone so that it will accept a more modern style wall jack. So I wanted to show you that real quick and we're going to be doing that conversion. I want to take a look at the telephone itself. This is the initial checkout. We know we have an issue right here at the modular port where it goes into the handset. We're also going to check the connection down at the base of the telephone. Now, we have the cover loose, so we want to go ahead and show you the cover. And we'll show you in a minute how to remove the cover at the bottom. There's actually a little hook here. Try to get a look at that. And this little hook on the cover catches a latch at the base of the telephone. So we're going to go ahead and set that to the side. We have our bells, our network, our rotary, our hook switch. We're going to go through the rotary. That's going to be oiled, cleaned, and adjusted. And that gives you a look at the network and the bell circuit. Now we want to show the back plate. This plate was installed so that this telephone would hang on a wall. Normally this telephone would be just bolted to the wall, but since they've added this plate, we're going to go ahead and keep the plate, but this is going to be changed here. The modular port adapter that plugs into the older style wall jack. That's going to be changed and we're going to have a piece of line cord that comes out and can be tucked back into the telephone once hung on the wall. So that's the conversion we'll be making to that part of the telephone. We also want to go through the bell circuit, the network, the rotary. We want to go through the transmit and receive of the telephone and we want to take a look at the hook switch. So we're going to go ahead and get a start on this telephone. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with a repair of this telephone. We're going to run through a few things before we start our final checks. Earlier we mentioned that we would show you the clip at the bottom of the cover that you want to push in and that should release the cover at the bottom and then you should be able to slip it off of the telephone and we want to talk about the line cord since we have the newer style base 
plate that goes on a more modern wall jack, there will be no need to remove the cover and hang the telephone because the telephone is going to hang on the wall jack that Holly has. So we want to go ahead and put our cover back on and we'll go ahead and do that right now. There is a little clip at the top that you want to make sure that you get the cover on and it's right here. There's a little metal clip inside the telephone cover and we want to make sure that that slides over that clip. Now once that's slid over that clip we can push this one down into place and it'll lock. Since we have our line cord here now that will push back into the telephone once Holly plugs her telephone. We'll look at this like it's a wall jack. She can go ahead and plug into that and then she would slip her phone down on the wall jack. We also want to grab our connection here so that we can connect our line up to our analyzer. Now we can start our final checks. Want to go ahead and hang the unit up. We'll plug our line cord in. We're going to ring the telephone. So we'll go ahead and use the analyzer and we'll ring the unit. I have an amplified pickup here. That's so we can hear our audio when we check our phone out. We'll turn our amplifier on. And we'll give you some dial tone. We want to walk through our numbers. So if you watch the analyzer, we're going to dial our numbers out. You'll watch them roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. And go ahead and hang up. Now what we can do, since we know that the telephone rings in on a ring cycle, we have transmit, receive, and it's dialing out, we can push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we can call a time and temp number. So we'll go ahead and turn our amplifier on. We'll give you some dial tone, and we'll make that call. Okay, we can call one other number, we can call my number, and it'll be busy. Go ahead and turn the amplifier off, hang the unit up. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Holly and she can enjoy this telephone. It was handed down through her family and I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's installed. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. 
You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.